Well, I didn't read the script. You didn't read uh, no, because uh, Ken doesn't let you read the script. No. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen. You know about this character. He'll give you an outline of the character, its age, and what's going on. And you also do a lot of improvisation and exploration of the character's past. Sometimes his youth, years ago, just to flesh out the bones of that character. So you know the character, but you don't know where what's going to happen in this character's life. You don't know the future. And you certainly don't have a script, so you don't know how the story is going to unfold. So it becomes a question of trust, because Ken obviously puts you through the paces of these auditions to see if you're up to the job and see if you can take what he throws at you. So he's trusting you to a certain extent. And us as actors who don't know where the story is going to go and don't know what's going to happen to this character, we're trusting him. So it's a lovely little uh, symbiotic relationship where we're both trusting each other and both on an adventure, so it, it's a fantastic way of working for me. No, I didn't know any of that. Um, when we'd started filming, I did read a newspaper article, there was a photo of Ken and Eric at a match at Old Trafford Championship League, and it said there that um, Eric Cantona was co-producing this um, thing with Ken Loach's People's 16 films. So that was the first time I became aware that Cantona had any involvement in it. And I believed the article. I thought Eric was co-producing just in the background, just maybe putting some money up. I had no idea that he, he was going to be in it. I knew, I knew that my character buyer now was a Man United fan who was an Eric Cantona fan. But not, I didn't know Eric was going to be in it at all. It was a surprise to me on the day. Oh, well, everybody in Manchester knows about Eric. I mean, he's still loved in the city now, and mm -hmm. even at Old Trafford now, 13 years after he's finished there, he's still singing his name. Mm -hmm. So it'd be fair to say that Manchester's always took him to the heart, you know, and he can't go anywhere in Manchester without being mobbed to, to this day. So everyone was always aware of Eric's sort of legendary status in the city, mm -hmm. and to, to meet the man, and as I, as I found out more about him, I became more and more enthralled with his skill and his... Uh, on and off the pitch, I just found him such a fascinating character that when I was learning about Eric Bishop's obsession with Cantona, it became a little obsession. I was watching all his goals and his matches and I knew everything about him. <coughs> so to end up working with him, it's just fantastic. Well, I didn't know that until the scene where I meet him in the film. Uh, there's a scene where I talk to the poster of him and I didn't know at that point that Eric was going to be in the film. I'd not met the man. And we, Ken filmed five or six takes of me talking to the poster. And then he told me that the lighting wasn't right. And I went outside for a cigarette. And when I came back, they smuggled Eric in and hid him. And then I talked to the poster again. And then he appeared behind me. That's the first time I met him. Uh, it happened on film, you know. So it was quite shocking. <laughs> Oh yeah, um, on in the um, on in the aspect that Eric Bishop was a working class bloke uh, from an industrial city, the same as me, and I didn't. And Ken cast it in Manchester because he because it's set in Manchester. He wants people to use a natural accent, so it, it feels and sounds more real. So it was quite easy to um, become Eric Bishop, if you like. You just put yourself in his shoes and and went with his life and knew about his heartbreak of leaving his wife and, and his daughter growing up and his stepsons being left with him and his second wife running off. It was very easy to uh, get into that mould, yeah. Well, I've been a jobbing actor for years, me, and I probably will continue to be so. But it definitely it's not done me any harm because uh, it, it is Ken. Uh, Ken's such a well-respected uh, director, more, more abroad than he is in England in a funny kind of way, but his work is very well respected. So for me to land the lead role in a Ken Loach film, co-starring with Eric Cantona, it's certainly got my profile up and got a lot of attention, uh, hopefully not, not just to me, but some of the other actors in it, because there's a lot of wonderful performances. <coughs> Excuse me. Stephanie Bishop for a start who plays my wife, Lucy Joe, Steve Marsh who plays the villains, I think, and all the, the lads from the post office, they're all, it's a good ensemble piece really. 
I'm getting singled out because I'm the, I'm the lead role, but it could have been any of them guys. Um, but it's certainly not done me any harm, and it has up my profile. And hopefully people will like the film, you know.